Hello and welcome to the CSCAD tutorial videos. Today we continue to speak about appearance settings of CSCAD. We will review two types of settings today, product list settings and common settings. First we are going to speak about product list layout settings. Alright, here we have available product list views, three types of them, grid, list without options, compact list. And also, as a support setting, we have product list default view, grid, and so on. Let me demonstrate to them. Let's go to the category page. And uh, here they are, three types. Grid, product list with description, and concise description. One, two, three. Different customers can prefer different product list views. For now, we have a grid view as the default view. So, when we turn to another category, for example, music, it will become grid again. If you don't want this to happen and make your store more user-friendly, you should turn to another setting in our settings page here. Use this really useful setting. I can't say that you should use it, you should, instead you should disable it. Use the selected view for current category or search page only. And then you disable it and customer decides to change uh, the product list view. Oh, for example, he choose this, the description type. And then go to another category page, video games. He will have the same product list view. This is... Uh, really helpful and this is really useful. Your customers will be very pleased with this function, I think. Let's move on. The next two settings are related to each other. Available product list sortings and product list default sorting. These settings are really important because they determine how uh, the products will be ordered on your products list pages. For example, we have lots of sortings here. Oldest items first, newest items first, Sort alphabetically, sort by price, sort by best selling, sort by discount, and so on. You can choose either all of them or none. It's up to you. Oh, for example, you can uh, choose a few of them. Newest, alphabetically, by price, by popularity. Okay, and after that, you can choose what will be the default sorting. Uh, for now, we have sort alphabetically from A to Z, the gold standard for all sortings. I would suggest you to stick to this. I'm not sure if there is uh, a need in a demonstration, so let's move on. And the last one in this block, enable quick view. Let's go to the category page and I'll show you. Quick view is this button, you just click it and you can preview the product before buying it or before even going to the main page of a product. That's it. Now let's move to the common settings. Yeah, yeah, guys, this is the end of the page. Finally, we reached it. Now, date format, time format, time zone, calendar date format, calendar week starts from... You can change these settings according to the uh, format of your country and uh, as your customers might find it uh, convenient. Uh, for example, date format you can make it like 29 September 2000 or September 29 or just like this using slash using dots and so on as you wish uh, time format Eastern type Western type and so on you can also choose the default time zone for example I live around Moscow so I choose uh, Moscow time zone but if you live uh, uh, in Europe you can choose uh, Bruxelles Copenhagen Madrid, Paris time zone, for example. Oh, if you live uh, in America, you can choose uh, Brasilia time zone, I don't know, Atlantic time, and so on. There are two types of a calendar date format, Eastern type, Western type. You can also add uh, manually Japanese type, like year, month, day. And the last one related to the calendar is uh, the day week starts from Monday or Sunday. Okay, now to some more common settings, like unsaved changes warning. What does it mean? Just let me show you. I'll untick it and I'm not gonna save the changes. Well, and now I want to visit the products page. Yeah, this is it. This is the unsaved changes warning. The page suggests you that 
you should confirm your navigation leave this page or stay on this page. Hmm. For now I'm gonna stay on this page. Alright, let's move on. Show menu description. The menu descriptions are the descriptions uh, that are written under the titles of the pages on the admin panel, like promotions, promote goods and offer bonuses basing on customers memberships. This is the description. Now I will disable it, save, alright, and okay, it's gone. Uh, you can disable this setting if you want uh, to make your admin panel look more concise, look more compact and uh, you already learned everything about this card. Only two left guys. Okay, notice displaying time. To turn off the after height function enter zero. Now notice displaying time is five seconds. To show you this I need to go to the storefront and choose any product. Here we are. Now I will choose this mp3 player. Yeah, yeah our good old friend and now I will add it to cart yes this message will um, run for five seconds okay it has disappeared now I will turn five seconds into zero and uh, this message will become indefinite zero save and back to the products page now I need to refresh the page done Add to cart. As you can see, it doesn't disappear. So you have to either press continue shopping or checkout or click exit button. That's it about it. And finally, I proudly present you our new prototype setting, email templates mode. We have two options here, old template mode, stored on file system and new, nice and editable via admin panel. Let me show you the new one, because the old one is just a bunch of files that you have to work with, that you have to edit, and this type of a template mode is really inconvenient. So I'd better show you the new one. Let's go to the design email templates. This is it. Here you have all the email templates that are available at the store. This is customer notifications and these are administrator notifications. Yeah, yeah, we can go right here and change the content of this notification. We can change the subject, we can change the body, we can change the text. To make edits we use variables and snippets. Also, as a part of this uh, new setting, as a part of this new feature, we edit invoice editor. Yeah, here you can change the default look of your invoice. Like, you can change the head, you can change the look of your invoice, how the information uh, is organized inside it, how you want to present it to the customer, and so on. So now you can make the invoice unique and personal for your store and for your company. So. Stay tuned for more updates about these two features. That's everything that I wanted to tell you about appearance settings of CS card. In the next CS card videos, we will continue to explore other settings of CS card. Thanks for watching and see you in the next CS card tutorial videos.